Hi, my name is Sophia and welcome to my 50 facts about me today so that you would get to know me a little bit better. I thought that I would share 50 facts about me and this was also super requested on my Instagram, which I will link below. Okay, so let's start. So first fact is my full name is Sofia Vilder Cordero. Vilder is my dad's last name and Cordero is my mom's last name. I have two last names because I'm from Argentina and it's custom to give two last names depending on your specific family. And as you may have noticed, I actually don't have a middle name. And that's just because my mom didn't like middle names and she thought Sofia didn't really need a middle name. Another fact about me is that I was born on September 18, 2000, which means that I'm now 18 years old. My birthday also means that I'm a Virgo, and although I don't really believe in horoscopes and a lot of predictions that they make, I am definitely a Virgo. I have all the Virgo traits. I'm super stubborn but persistent. I'm crazy organized and borderline OCD, and I am definitely a perfectionist. And something that you will definitely not know about me unless you knew me since I was little, is that I'm actually a natural redhead. And my hair color has faded a lot over the years, but when I was younger, it was definitely red. And not like ginger, like actually red. Something else about me is that I was actually born in Buenos Aires, Argentina, which is where my family is from. But I only lived there for two years because we moved for my father's job. And since then, I've actually lived in five countries. I've lived in Argentina, Bolivia, Switzerland, France, and Belgium, if I remember all of them. And because I've moved around so much, the most I've lived in any country is five years. Because I've moved around a lot and I got to experience a lot of different places, including Bolivia and Switzerland, I got to have a really outdoorsy childhood. I did a lot of swimming, horse riding, spending time in the forest when I lived in Switzerland, and just getting to enjoy nature. My favorite place that I've ever lived is Paris, France. It's such a beautiful city and I absolutely love French culture. My first language is Spanish, so maybe I'll do this one in Spanish. Mi primer idioma es el español o el castellano. Yo nací en Argentina y mis papás hablan en español con mi hermano y conmigo y es el único idioma que se habla en mi casa. Yeah, so I also speak English and French. My English is definitely fluent and I would say it's the language, language that I'm most proficient in. And my French is a little rough, I definitely don't like my accent and I don't feel comfortable speaking it. And something else, since we're on the topic of languages, is that I actually used to speak German fluently because I lived in Switzerland for three years, but now I definitely would not say that I'm fluent in German. I have a younger brother who's three years and eight months younger than me. I'm a senior in high school. I consider myself to be a hard worker for school, personal projects and just life in general. I'm definitely persistent, I don't give up, and I'm not afraid to work hard. Ever since I was little, I've always loved books. I was definitely a bookworm growing up, and I've always enjoyed a good novel. And in particular, I'm a huge lover of French literature. I've read a lot of classic works, and I don't know, I just really love it. I can't really explain why. I love, love, love animals so much, and I've been a vegetarian for 14 months. In my life, I've owned two dogs, um, a Labrador when I was younger, and another dog now. And my next fact is right here. I have a French bulldog called Jagger who's three years old and doesn't want to be here. <laughs> I decided to go vegetarian for both ethical and environmental reasons. Meat is one of the main causes of carbon dioxide emissions and so I decided to become vegetarian to reduce my carbon footprint but also to lessen the suffering that is imparted upon animals. When I'm older I would really 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 like to adopt a rescue dog. It's always been one of my goals. <laughs> when I was little I wanted to be a vet, a model, a fashion designer, but not all at the same time. Since then, my aspirations have changed quite a little bit, and I'm applying to university to study law. I've never been in love. I'm definitely a tea addict, and I'm not a coffee person at all. One of my greatest weaknesses is that I internalize my thoughts and feelings a lot, which means that people who aren't really close to me never get to see me for who I am or to understand what I'm really like. 
and I, I've always been that way or well I've become that way more as I've grown older and I've never really known what to do with it <laughs> so I, it just means that I have a really hard time opening up to new people and that's why I consider myself to be an introvert traveling is my absolute favorite hobby I've been to over 35 countries I am such a foodie my favorite cuisines are Thai and Mexican and my dream restaurant would definitely be a fusion of the two cuisines I have an unhealthy obsession with avocados my favorite color is pink and especially blush pink one of the most important people in my life is my mom I'm so grateful to her for helping me become the woman that I am and she has so much to do in giving me the values that I have now and in helping me become the person that I want to be I love old school movies like Breakfast at Tiffany's, Charade, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, How to Marry a Millionaire, all of those movies. Even though I've never been good at art, I've always considered myself to be a creative person in the sense that I always look for innovative solutions and whenever I'm working on a project or notes or anything, I try to make it as aesthetically pleasing as possible. I've always loved learning, but I've never liked going to school. I think it has a lot to do with kind of my shy nature and the fact that I don't really like structures that aren't created by me. I don't know how to explain it any other way, but I've never really liked kind of the forced rules and forced interactions that the school environment has because I've always been, I've always kind of created my own rules. One of my biggest fears in life is living a life and having a career that doesn't excite me or that doesn't inspire me and that's why when I'm older I hope to have a fulfilling career and to always work with something that is in line with my morals and values. When I was five I was in a car accident where I was the only person not injured. That's probably one of the reasons why I absolutely hate hospitals. The last time I was in a hospital I had to get stitches after a pretty gnarly incident in biology class and since then I'm definitely very adamant to enter a hospital again. When I was 14 years old, I donated 12 inches of my hair to Pantene's Beautiful Length. I'm a practicing Christian, and more specifically, I'm a Roman Catholic. I'm extremely and sometimes brutally honest with the people I know and love, and I don't really respect social cues in that sense. The traits that I value most in myself and in others are loyalty, faith, honesty, and compassion. One day I would absolutely love to live in Australia, probably because of the weather, the good food, like all the vegan options and everything. When I was little, I wanted to have a pet butterfly until my dad crushed my dreams and told me that they actually only lived to be a few days old and then I didn't really want a pet butterfly anymore. And for my last fact, I've actually wanted to start a YouTube channel for years so now here I am with my very own YouTube channel and yeah, I don't know where I'm going with this or kind of what's coming next. As I mentioned, I'm a senior in high school so videos might be a little spotty here and there but I definitely know how to make time for things and for people that I love. So I will definitely do my best to upload consistently. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel and I really want to start growing this little family, so come support me here and on my Instagram and all my socials, which I'll link down below.